a very good morning to you guys. Today, we need to look at the bubble sort. Bubble sorting algorithm. Okay. Now, uh, the first question is, what is uh, a bubble sort? Now, a bubble sort is the simplest of the sorting algorithms. Bubble sort. Is the simplest of the sorting algorithm. Okay, but however. It is an inefficient sort for anything but a small list because of the number of comparisons required. So here we are basically saying it is ideal when you want to sort a small list. For big list, it is inefficient. All right? Because it requires a lot of the number of the swaps. So... Here is the description algorithm of bubble sort. Description algorithm Description algorithm of a bubble sort. Okay. Number one, we start at the beginning of the list. Start at the beginning of the list. Okay, then step number two, we compare the first value in the list with the next one up. We compare the first value in the list with With the next value. Okay? So, if the first value is bigger, we swap the positions of the two values. If if the first value is bigger we swap the positions of the two values Okay, then uh, we move to the second value in the list. That's number three. We move to the second value. in the list okay 
again you convert this value with the next and swap if the value is bigger okay we are again compare that value with the next comma if it is bigger we swap the positions All right. Now it's step number four. It's step number four. We keep going until there are no more items. Keep going until the until there are no more items uh, to compare until there are no more items to compare all right i want you to note one thing here The last item checked in the list is now sorted. The last item checked in the list is now sorted. Okay. Uh, so ignore the next time. Okay. So ignore. So ignore this next time. So you see after we we look at an example of uh, uh, what I mean by saying the last item checked in the list is now sorted. Okay? If we look at an example, I'm sure you get what I'm talking about. Then number five, we go back to the start of the list. We go back. To the start to the start of the list. Okay. Now this is the step by step algorithm of Baba Sort. So you realize that each run through the list from start to finish is known as a path. So to get a one run from the start to the finish, you come up with that one run is called a path. So the bubble sort continues until a path is made where no values has been swapped. So it will come to a point whereby we are saying a path is not any value to swap. We are saying we compare the first value with the second. Kind of the first is smaller than the second that cannot swap at need. But kind of the first value is bigger than the second. That's when we make a swap. So the idea here is to push a big, biggest number. Can I end up with the first person in the The second largest number is in this one. The single number is a bigger number uh, amongst my numbers at Nigetina. My bigger numbers is a bigger number. 
e, kukupe zera akizoka kuma small number okay so at this point the list ready rinengera the sorted all right now uh, we want to consider this example of an unsorted list we'll consider this unsorted list okay so we have uh, position in this Then we have a uh, data value. So we have zero, one, two, three, four. Okay. Then we have nine A, four A, two. Then six five. Okay. So as you can see, the value at position zero is nine. And the value at position one is four. So we are comparing nine and four. Since nine is bigger than four, the two items are swapped. So it will now look like Let me extend this so that it becomes easy. So we are saying it's, this is position list. This is the data value. So we are saying after this they swap to zero, one, two, three, four. You will be now having uh, something like four. Nine, two, six, five. Okay. After we have swapped the, the, since nine is actually bigger than four, we swap. Move to the next. Okay. This is for position, this is for data. So position is usual 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And the data values, as you can see, we now go to position 1, there's 9. And at position 2, there's 2. So since 9 is bigger, we swap again. So 2 and 9, 9 and 2. So it will be uh, 4, 2, 9, 6, 5. That will be four, two, nine, six, five. All right. And we again uh, compare. Now move to the next position data value. So that's zero, one, two, three, four. So we are now comparing uh, 9 and 6, all right? We go to position 2, compare 9 and 6. 9 is greater than 6, so the 2 will swap. So it will be 
four two six nine five four two six nine five all right uh, we go to the next position that is position three we compare the value there which is nine and the value at position four which is five nine is greater than five so the two will swap so we are saying position and data value zero one two three four so it will be four two six five nine okay so after this this is what we know what is known as the first pass okay the first pass is completed all right but as you can see our list is not in an ordered uh, manner at the moment so we perform another pass okay starting from the first so here uh, we have our position In list and we have our data value so this is zero one two three four and our is like um, the four two six five nine so this time around we are now comparing uh, we're now comparing four and uh, two uh, as you can see four is greater so we come up with two, four, um, then six, five, nine. All right, another comparison. We now compare four and six. As you can see, uh, four is less than six, so there will be no swap. We compare six and five, six is greater, so we swap. So it will be two, four, five, six, nine. Okay. As you can see, uh, there are no more swaps uh, at this point. To are list rectangle from smallest to highest because of two, four, five, six, nine. So this is the second pass second pass is complete so in this at this point we cannot compare a uh, do a third pass because already our list is now sorted so the third pass won't be necessary so by so doing our list is now in sorted order okay so this is how uh, it is done now we need to look at the pseudocode algorithm for bubble sort. Pseudocode algorithm for bubble sort. All right now the first step you set counter to zero set counter to zero and the second step you set swapped to true you set swapped to true 
and the third step you set swaps to zero set swaps to zero okay and the fourth step the fourth step i mean you set length to length list set length to length length list okay so we are now saying while swap equals to true while swap equals to true do Do well counter while counter is less than length minus one do If list if list counter greater than list counter plus one. Greater than list counter plus one, then set temp to list. Then set temp to list. Count. Okay. Also set list counter to list counter plus one. We need to set list counter to list. counter plus one okay then you need to set list counter plus one set list counter as one to temp then set swaps to swaps plus one then you set swaps to swaps Plus one, then the end is okay. We set again counter to counter plus one, set counter. counter. Plus one. Then you set length to length minus one. Set length to length minus one. And we end while. 
so we are saying if swap equals to zero then set swap to false and set swap else set swap to zero or set swaps to zero and set counter to zero set counter to zero and if and we also end the while. So basically, this is the pseudo code of the algorithm that I was explaining uh, at first, or the written description of the algorithm. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know at 0784 -002 -002. My name is Mr. Takudu Don't forget to subscribe and like on my YouTube channel. Goodbye.